we'd like to welcome you to this video on simplified scanning. In this video, we will demonstrate how to set the baseline of your scanner and share with you some very important principles that will assist you in getting much, much better scans as we move along in this training. So let's, let's get started. So before we get into the actual demonstration of scanning, just to cover a couple areas of concern, uh, before you get a scan or do a scan on someone else or yourself, it's very important that you get yourself well hydrated. So you want to drink enough fluids or water the day before. You don't have to overdo it, but the more hydrated you are, the better the scan results will be since scanning is based on galvanic response and hydration is very important and skin conductivity response. So if your skin's too dry, we don't get as good a baseline, good a results, and as much sensitivity on our skin. So that's a very important thing to understand. The other things to be concerned about is not taking things like Vicodin, which will deaden the central nervous system, or being on antihistamines, which will virtually dry up the skin. So those are the kind of the, the principles of scanning that you want to be looking at uh, before we get started here. So as I mentioned before, we're going to focus on setting the baseline. So your scanner will be hooked up as we see here. It's all plugged in, it's all turned on and ready to go. Now, before we even do a scan, one of the things that we're really recommending is that people stay relaxed as well. And it's very important that you're not doing a lot of gesturing like I am here right now or a lot of movement. While you're scanning, you should be having conversations all of these things can affect the central nervous system. So basically when we're scanning, we're looking at central nervous system stresses. Now that can be internal, that can be emotional or external stresses. So we try to eliminate the emotional stresses and the external stresses like are caused by my hand gestures in order to just confine it to the internal stresses that will be generated by our scanning program here that, we'll, that we will soon be running. All right, now, this here is uh, something new. It's called Rifescapes, and uh, this will help us to relax during scanning. You don't have to have this, but this can be a real help. So we place this into our DVD player on our computer. In this case, I've got it preloaded back here. And before we start our scan, we simply click play button here and this will start uh, some very relaxing music to keep me relaxed, keep my emotions so they're not stressed while I begin the scan. At this time we'd like to talk about the GRS hand control. If you're right-handed we'd like you to place it comfortably in the left hand. Do not white knuckle it, do not over grip it. Just leave it comfortably in the hand with the palm and the fingers touching the metal strips. If the grip should change a little bit during the session, don't worry about it because we're going to address that as part of our setting of the baseline which will adjust to this little bit of change that you may experience in how tight you're gripping the hand control. But here again, keep yourself relaxed with your grip. Do not add any artificial creams or moisture to the hands. The hand should be clean, but not stripped of all natural oils for the best scans. Next, we'd like to talk to you about bulb placement during your scans. This is very important as it will affect the sensitivity of your scans and the results you achieve. Now, on our past DVD training, we had you place the bulb in direct contact with the skin under the shirt in the stomach area. But in the last few months, we've been doing scans a little bit differently. We've been having our clients place this bulb directly in the shirt, behind the neck, in a comfortable place around the shoulder blades. So this is where you want to place it. Make sure it's comfortable so that you don't have any extra stresses or discomfort during the scans. But this is a general area that we want to place our bulb at this time for more advanced scanning. This time we want to focus on how to set the baseline of your scanner. Program should be running. The hand control will be gripped. And when it is gripped, you'll probably hear an audible tone. 
With the program running, we want to set the baseline, so we'll actually dial the scanner down. So we just have a red light with no tone at all. We are now set for maximum sensitivity. For some individuals, this light may pulse. For others, it may not be quite as bright. It depends on the skin conductivity of the individual being scanned. But it is very important that this red light be lit during the scan with no audible tone for maximum sensitivity. If you cannot get the red light to light, chances are you are not well enough hydrated. Our scanner has picked up a hit. If you look at the status on your software, on your computer screen, next to the word running, you'll actually see an asterisk appear. This indicates this hit is being recorded as a database and as a program. At this time, we want to turn the baseline control counterclockwise till we no longer have an audible tone. Notice here again, the red light is still on and we're now ready for our next hit. We simply need to relax and wait for things to happen. If during the scan, this red light should go out and dim, we want to come in, reset the baseline, so that once again we have a red light with no audible tone. This keeps the baseline set to maximum sensitivity to adjust for changes in our central nervous system during the scans. At times you may hear a growl or a chirp during the scan. This indicates a hit, although not a very strong one. We'll reset the baseline. These hits are still recorded to the database and to the program that is being written. At other times you will hear a alternating chime. This indicates a much stronger hit. If this happens, you may want to push the button on the GRS hand control till you get a green light. If you're still hearing an audible tone as we are here, this indicates a very, very strong hit. If you do not hear an audible tone, it is still a strong hit. And of course, these hits are still being recorded. At this time, we'll turn off the green light. We'll go back to our scanner and we will reset the baseline to wait for our next hit. If the baseline is sensitive, you may want to set it by just taking the top of the finger and very slightly adjusting your baseline control. Sensitivity will vary from person to person. Now let's move on to accessing our database and the GRS HITS program that has been written for us. When the program is finished, we can click our mouse on the DB HITS tab. Once we click on this tab, it will give us a list of possible pathogens or conditions that the scanner picked up. This is a tool for research and should not be considered a diagnostic tool. Just because things appear on this list does not necessarily mean that you have these conditions at all. This list is simply for research. To access your program, you click File, GRS Hits, and your program is displayed. It is very important at this time that you save the program. So we're going to click File, Save As, and we're going to name the file and save. This has saved your hits. If you want to save the database that was generated from the DB Hits tab, you simply highlight everything in the box, right click your mouse, choose copy. At that point, you need to open up a word processor. In this case, I'm opening up Microsoft Office. 
right click on the screen, choose paste, and here we have displayed our database. Now we can click file and choose save as and save this list as our database of hits. This concludes our video on scanning. Hopefully this has helped you understand how to scan in a very simple way and how to set your baseline. So we thank you for your kind attention and we hope to see you soon.